State, and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. That's a big strike right there. Dirty boxing here up top by Pettis. And there comes the separation now. Whoa! All right, side control now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Back to his feet. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to me. It's abandoned him. But he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Oh, nice. Nice combination of strikes there by Pettis. Right hand punch to punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch? That oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, he just hears. He won't appear to stun him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. He's kind of hurt here. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 approach. And you see a guy in the striker who... Oh! Oh, straight right! Rockham shot him out of the suit here! So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Big punch from the clinch. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water. Now the ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, the strike lands there, but he doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's hooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with him. He's absolutely yeah, he's really bad. He's got him right here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. So 35 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is so tough. You can be on the street right now. Big elbow. Pettis has just got full mount now. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near you back. Pettis gets back up again. All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC. So for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal. Because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with your knee to try to get into side control. Control posture.
pressure here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pettis gets back up again. Nicely done. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you've got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you've got to get out the space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the punch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. A uh, little single collar tie there. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh. Big knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice. Big head kick lands. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Wow, that right punch has been a funny weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into the side. He's out! Holy smokes! What a fight! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliaka has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Anthony Showtime! Watch right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Back on my bullshit. bullshit. Back to back on my bullshit. bullshit. Matter of fact, that was bullshit. I'm going back to back to back on my bullshit. bullshit. Do it one time, they gon' think it's luck. luck. Gotta hit him with the repeat. Do it two times, they gon' still doubt. Hey, now I got a three peak. Gotta flood the streets till they need deep. Gotta stay woke, can't be sleep. All this fly shit don't be cheap. All these bad bitches that we keep round. Pockets gotta be deep now. Never lose again, living me deep down. Gotta keep winning, it's a clean sweep now. Tell them back it up, do it, do it, do it Big truck, low bitch. Call me Greek freak, big bucks, low bitch. Paid in full, low ace, low Mitch. You a Rico, low case, you'll snitch. Not from Chicago, but too shy to speak. Ask Wiz Waldo, I'm All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids 
kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital. He had a third. Oh! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. If you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain positive and the intensity at which he's going these ground strikes is starting to getting going and now the fight's over but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first you've heard us say it before but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight it can have a bigger effect it certainly did here tonight Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there. Oh man, the audacity I got girl in my inbox sending me